Hello friends, welcome back and this is Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. It's a wonderful day over here and we are going to talk something about dynamic arrays. Trust me my friend, this is a really game changer. You will love it when you start working on dynamic arrays. It totally changed the way we write the formulas. So let me show it to you what I have discovered in dynamic arrays and what we can do with them. So in my previous video, we have seen that how we have used uh, the dynamic array, the new function, which is a unique and sort, and we extracted the names of the stores. And similar way, we have used a sum if function, we have a sum up the quantities of these stores. Now, what I have did is that I have made it more dynamic. <laughs> yes, as I have selected the date, it has automatically selected the date column and uh, it has extracted the unique dates from that list and it has given me the entire list. Similarly, if the product is there, it has given me all the product names and the quantity. This is really cool. So this is what we are going to learn today and it will be totally dynamic. So first thing what I have done my friends that with the help of the data validations, I have added the three comments over here, which is uh, the date stores and the product name. It should be exactly the same how it is written over here. Okay. So then only we can manage to get that information. The first function what we are going to use is the index function equals to index. And my table array will be my data. Yeah, that's my entire table array. So comma. And now my row number is should be blank because I don't need to reach to that row number comma. And my column number, yeah, this is very interesting. I'm going to say match. Yeah, I'm going to match this and I'm going to make this as an absolute cell reference, comma. My lookup array, of course, I will look into this table header, comma, zero, bingo. Close, enter. Yeah, it says that I have a typo error. I want it to get correct. Wonderful. So I've got the list of all my stores. See my friends, the dynamic array is really, really, it is amazing. So now it has really made me understand that what is going on in the background with this new calc engine. So with this, I'm going to say unique. And I just close the bracket. So I got my unique stores. Now this, again, I'm going to nest the function by saying sort and let's close the function. Wonderful, that was quick. So we got our dates, we got our product name. Wonderful, this is working perfectly. So let's jump to the challenging part. Now we are going to construct the formula in such a way that whenever I will be changing that header value from stores to product name, I want that sum if functions to automatically understand and pull that specific column. So we are going to use the offset function equals to offset a2. That's the starting position of my data. And how many rows we want to go down? No, we don't want to go any rows down. So we are just going to say comma column. So in this one also, we are going to use the match function again. And we are going to select the stores. And this will be an absolute reference, comma, the lookup array. Yes, I want to look in the headers. Great, comma, exact match. Wow, this is something cool. Now we would like to extract the height. Okay, so I wanted to give the range, the height of the data I wanted to select always. So we are going to use a count a function and that count a function will count the height of my data. Great. And the width, we don't need anything. So we're just going to simply say enter. Bingo. So we got laptop, PlayStation. In the offset function, the starting position start from zero. So I have to just minus one from here so I can get the correct information. Great. So now that's how we have made our data ready for the sum if functions. So now we are going to use the sum if functions equals sum if, yes. So the quantity what has been sold, 
that is the sum range okay so we would like to do the sum range of the quantity that is sold comma the criteria range the criteria range itself is the offset function that is what we were extracting comma and again i'm going to select this g2 and i will hit enter so it says i have a missing operator no problem my friend i'll put the bracket now but as you have observed that it has not automatically taken the entire data into the dynamic array so i just need to press the pound key over here so now it knows that the column which is there it's in dynamic array so as soon as i hit enter bingo we got our total correct now so see this was a previous video with the stores and now we are just going to do date product name the way you want to analyze your data this is a very handy stuff and this is very helpful i've already started using in many of my projects and it is really a time saver so let us go and add some more data to our table so we have some nice data over here some with new stores and new products as well so we're just going to pull this up come into the table wonderful it has automatically taken my data into that table range and i got all my stores over here and the new dates are also got incorporated i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon you know for why it's for the latest update yes so as soon as i post any new video you're going to come to know first and let me have your feedback in the below video comments i would love to hear from you what you like what you don't like and what you like to see also so i can make those videos for you so that's it for today have a great day signing off for today your friend farah sheikh from f sheikh excel master